all the best boxing content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and punch that bell for notifications. Oscar Andrade and Hugo Ramirez, a couple of tough guy Mexicans. For Hugo Ramirez, this fight is a big step up. The 21-year-old from Mexico is a four-year pro. He has built up that 15-1 record against somewhat limited competition. His lone loss, an eight-round split decision last summer that you see there against Nettie Garcia. 29-year-old Oscar Andrade is a former world title challenger. He is from Durango, Mexico. And don't be turned off from that 29 and 22 and 1 record. He's been in against everybody, including Michael Carbajal and Isidro Garcia. In fact, he is coming off a win over Heriberto Ruiz. Yeah, that's the same Ruiz who we saw defeat Olympian Clarence Vincent. So Oscar, Andrade, and Hugo Ramirez, they are scheduled for 10 rounds. In the blue corner, wearing the red trunks, he weighed in this evening even 116 pounds. He hailed all the way from the Rango. Oscar Andrade, Scott Ledoux. I'll tell you what, a guy with a lot of experience. So, tough, tough guy. 29 years old and 29 career wins. Here's our Miller tale of the tape, and it's the ring experience that could play a big role with advantages for Oscar tonight. Amazingly, 395 rounds he's got against Ramirez with 58. Jerry Cantu, your referee, they're scheduled for 10. You've both been giving your instructions in the dressing rooms. Talk to the Good luck to both of you. Scott Oscar Andrade has the better body of overall work in his career, but he hasn't been as active recently. He had that big win over Heriberto Ruiz. That came last October, so that's over a nine-month layoff for Oscar Andrade. But I'll tell you what, Andrade, with that kind of experience behind him, you know, he, it's not a problem. You know, he's a veteran. He knows what he's doing in there. He's done this so many times with 395 rounds. It's just amazing to me. Initially, I think Andrade might be a little rusty, but then I think you'll start getting a rhythm. Comes in with the counter left hand. You see Ramirez there in the green and gold. His only loss was on his opponent's home turf. That came in McAllen, Texas, against the local favorite, Nettie Garcia. It was an eight-rounder with a big gap in scoring that didn't help Hugo for his only loss. It was scored 77-75 twice, but the third judge had it 78-73 Ramirez, so maybe a little home cooking there, and that's the only loss on his ledger. He comes in 15-1 with 12 knockouts. Coming in, throwing shots right down the middle, trying to throw them right down the chute catch Andrade, but it's, a, it's really interesting to watch a, a veteran like this move around and try and find his way into the ring and get comfortable again. Making Ram, making him miss. Ramirez with a couple of body shots, doubling up that left hand. Ramirez has got to close the gap a little bit when he lets those hands go so he can land them. He's doing it out in the middle of the ring where Oscar can move out of the way and you know slip those punches. Oscar very good at slipping inside that left jab. Nice left hook to the body when he does that. Word on Ramirez, he likes to pressure his opponents, typically aggressive. Needs that experience though. Tonight, he's getting that experience. Just hoping it's not too much for him to handle in the well-traveled Oscar Andrade. Ramirez is doing a nice job in there, standing in there, keeping his eye on the target. Trying to push him back, but now he's getting pushed back in this part of the round. Oscar is moving him back. Early on, Hugo Ramirez was moving him back. Now it's turned the other way. Oscar is trying to move forward, getting comfortable. He's going to counter him with that right hand over that jab every time there he catches him with the left hook. Hugo Ramirez better keep that right hand up alongside his chin, and that left hook's going to land a lot. Scored well with the straight right before going to the left hand. Body shot comes in with that left hand that time against Ramirez. And they're trading right in the center of the ring. Andre throwing a lot of skill, slipping and countering. 
showing that experience, 395 rounds. Now 396. Ramirez started strong. Oscar finished that way. Good first round. We talked about how Hugo Ramirez and Oscar Andrade both picked up the pace in the final minute of that first round. 12 of Ramirez's 14 connects were in that final minute. The punches in round one, 93 to 50, the edge thrown from the quick starting Ramirez, but both men able to land 17 of those. Early on, I gave that first half of that round to Ramirez, and then I gave the last half to Andrade. I, I, I thought he did a nice job coming back in. I had to give it a 10-10 round. I couldn't see a difference. Both fighters unloading their right hands here right now, trying to land, and it's just pretty wild. Andre throwing a nice left hook to the body and right hand. Andrade with a good right hand. Rambo Ramirez takes a step back. Little cut has opened up off to the side of the eye on Oscar Andrade. Trying to come over the top with that right hand again. 395 rounds. I'm sure he's been cutting a few of them, so it's not a nothing new to him, and I'm sure his corner will take care of it. They can get him to the corner before. Got a lot of time left in this room. You know, you bring up a good point. You saw it in the ring experience there, Scott. You know, Andrade, a guy with 22 losses, but this is a step up for Hugo Ramirez. Big step up. And he's fighting a guy with so much experience. Andrade just, you know, he's going to get cut. He says, okay, big deal. I'll go back in, they'll fix it, and I'll come back out and fight. Right hand comes in from Ramirez. I don't know if this is a, a bang the heads or if he got hit with a punch. I haven't seen any indication of it. Referee is yet. Andrade is dropping that left hand, and Ramirez is landing that right hand in there. Pretty good on that same eye that was cut. I mean, he's got to get his hands up or he'll start using the jab to defend himself. Look how easy it is for Oscar to land that right hand over Ramirez's draft. Just unbelievable. And he's rocked him a couple times here. I've not seen Andrade rock, but Ramirez has been buckled a couple times with shots. Definitely a step up for Ramirez. Andrade has some real nice clean punches. Ramirez is going to have to get, get in there and, and start ducking a little bit, but he's getting because he's getting caught cleanly. Got to get his hands up and start jabbing, and Ramirez is going to be catching all night long. Another very efficient round for Oscar Andrade. No pushing on the break. Let's go. Hugo Ramirez has got to get his left hand back. Or Oscar Andre is going to land that right hand just like that all night long over that jab. He's got to get that left jab back quicker. Round number three between Oscar Andrade and Hugo Ramirez. Tuesday night fights presented by Miller Lite from Pismo Beach, California. Oscar Andrade in the red and white, currently rated number nine according to Ring Magazine among junior bantamweights in the world. A veteran Mexican who's been in many wars. He's been in with some of the best out there. Hugo Ramirez is getting a little education tonight. The story in the first two rounds, the fact that both men landed the same amount of punches, 17 apiece in the first round, 29 apiece in the second round, but a much more efficient job of doing it for Oscar Andrade. And hurting, hurting him, Ramirez. The cut that was opened up in the first round, uh, they seem to have it under control. I don't see any blood flowing out of there right now. Hard to get a good view of it right now from this side, but you see they seem to have done a good job in the corner. That's the left eye of Andrade. Cut man Jorge Padilla working on it in between the second and third round. And Oscar Andre right now walking him down, coming forward, just stepping forward, stepping, pushing him back, making Ramirez retreat. 
in the beginning of the fight, Ramirez wanted to come forward and was coming for it. All of a sudden, middle of that first round, Oscar stopped that and started pushing him back. And so far, he's been pushing him back. Ramirez a little bit low with that punch. I think it was because he got hit at the same time he was getting, trying to throw that punch. And on that flurry, the exclamation point was the left hand from Oscar. Oscar lands the, seems to land the more effective punches and solid punches to move Ramirez back. Ramirez just leaves that jab out too long and brings it back too slow. And Oscar catches him over there. A little right hand swing to the, to the side. I'll tell you what, I know how those feel. Not good. Andrade hasn't been shy about throwing his body shots. No. He's working the young guy's body early because he knows this is 10 rounds. He wants to wear him down and make him not want that right hand. And he might, you might see him come with that same motion to the body and come over the top with that right hand. Setting him up. Break. Step up, step up, step up. the cut over the left eye of Oscar Andrade. Jorge Padilla was working on it between rounds. The bigger concern was that the doctor of the California Commission came over to look at it, and that cut, we were told by referee Jerry Cantu, was caused by a punch from Hugo Ramirez, not a clash of heads, so that will be monitored for Oscar Andrade. The power punches through round number three, a big edge for Andrade. He's been doing well with that straight right hand and the body work, 71 to 26. They both threw 155, but Oscar Andrade getting more efficient work done. Andrade seems so skilled at ducking and slipping right now and landing those punches. And Ramirez doesn't get it. He keeps throwing that jab out there and leaving it out. Jerry Cantu with the warning. Andrade, just a tremendous uh, skilled veteran as you watch him work here. I wonder if the, how the conditioning is going to be with 395 rounds. I don't think we have to worry. Concern now for Andrade is the fact that cut was caused by a punch. They stopped the fight, he loses. Good right hand backs up with a left hand. He's got Rambo Ramirez going backwards. Good exchange in the center of the ring. Well, I'll tell you what, these guys are fighting tonight. What a great flurry from both men. Swinging away. We don't need a 20 foot ring for these guys. Mexican warriors who have decided to open things up halfway through this fourth round. Both weather and the storm letting their hands go. They haven't hardly moved out of that eight foot space right there. They're letting punches go, trading. They're not worried about defense or any kind of setup. They're just punching. Right hand comes in from Ramirez. Not much behind his efforts right now, though. Andre wanted real nice left hooks in that series. Another great left hook. Ramirez got to get that right hand up. He's going to get hit with that left hook forever. Oscar Andre just watching there. He's watching, slipping, and countering. Doing a nice job. In his final 15 seconds, Ramirez has already thrown over 135 punches in this round. What a sensational display of heart and guts between Andrade and Ramirez. 
great action in the fourth round between Andrade and Ramirez, Scott. Andrade and Ramirez just trading punches in here. You can't, I just, it's really exciting to watch. Just nailing each other. They could have fought this fight in a phone booth. This is unbelievable. Andrade countering, slipping. Ramirez with such great heart, taking shots, keep throwing punches. He's throwing a tremendous round here. These two guys are really going at it. They earned their keep already. And the punch stats absolutely amazing in that fourth round. The punches in round four, 148 for Ramirez, Andrade 103. He threw 101 power punches, landing 57 of them. Oscar Andrade. Oscar Andrade definitely keeping his eye on the target, landing Ramirez, but he was enthusiastic. Threw him more punches, just didn't land anything. But he's getting weary right now. He's catching some moves. He's got to get his hands up. He's got to start firing. He lets just Oscar walk in, and just Andrade just is just nailing him with clean shots. Oscar has not hardly missed a punch. It seems like every time he throws, he just nails him. And Ramirez has got to get his hands up. from side to side, Scott. Every left and right, Ramirez's head is just snapping side to side. He can stop that right hand by getting his left hand up and using it. When his left hand's so low, he just keeps getting hit with a right hand. You know, a veteran like Andrade is just going to keep throwing that right hand because it's there. He's giving it to him. Stabs that left hand straight at him and goes back to the body. Andrade, a very impressive fighter. Very skilled going up and down like a piano player. Scott, we try to avoid talking about the Alphabet Soup organizations and some of the rankings there, but there's no denying when Ring Magazine ranks you in the top 10, and such is the case with Oscar Andrade. Here's a guy with a record. He's got 22 losses, but those 22 losses were in, in wars against great fighters. That's the thing I say about fighters. If you fight great fighters, you don't go backwards when you lose. You learn. Look what he's doing with this young fellow. And Scott, another case of a 29-year-old that's been a pro for 12 years because he started on the young Mexican circuit where you do take some losses and take some lumps. And you're fighting another guy's hometown. They're judges. The judge might be an uncle or a cousin, and you can't win. Unbelievable how he's getting nailing him with that right hand. I can't believe Ramirez can't be told to get his left hand up. One, to start throwing jabs. But the Ramirez, you gotta give him credit. What a heart. And he comes firing back. Actually landed a left hand, but right back to work comes Oscar Andrade. Just a machine. Just a machine. What heart this Ramirez has. Left hand scores well for Oscar. Tough. There's no sign that Ramirez wanting to take a break. He just wants to keep fighting. And another round where Oscar Andrade has landed over 60% of his punches thrown. This kid's got a chin, huh? How's he staying up? Hugo Ramirez has got to get his left hand working and keep it working. Otherwise, he's going to get hit with his right hand all night long. Look at that, right down the chute, and Hugo does nothing to stop it. He's got to get that right hand, left hand going. Round number six, they are scheduled for 10. Oscar Andrade in the red and white. He's the ninth ranked junior bantamweight, according to Ring Magazine, against Hugo Ramirez in the green and gold. It has been an action-packed first five rounds. Very solid work from Andrade as you see the punches landed and look at the numbers in round number four and round number five for Oscar 58 and 54 that fifth round was the lowest total in terms of punches thrown for Hugo Ramirez he threw 148 in the fourth round he threw 86 in the fifth round and after that fifth round the doctors came over to his corner to take a look he took a beating in that fifth round he took some shots there's no question but right now he's showing a little bit of spark coming back again but he's got to get that left hand up and keep it up and use the jab to hold Oscar off. Otherwise, it's going to happen to him all night long, that right hand. Scott will do scorecard through five, 50 to 46. After that even first round, it's been all Oscar. Oscar's just been relentless here in this fight. 
But I got to give a lot of respect to Ramirez. He's coming there. That's it, folks. Jerry Cantu calls an end to this fight halfway through the sixth round. Scott, you don't agree with that stoppage yeah. at all, do you? Not at all. I don't understand the referee stopping that fight. It's a fight. It's not a dance. Jerry Cantu steps in and calls a halt to this fight. Oscar Andrade.